A few months ago, the Empire State Building's PR team invited us to film a trivia video on their 86th floor observation deck. We turned them down. At the time, we were making a video about New York City's freshwater infrastructure, and with water on our minds, we came back to the Empire State Building with a very different question. How does water get to the top of the Empire State Building? Gravity? Uh, pressure. I'm assuming it's called piping? That right there is the 102nd floor of the Empire State Building. The highest water tower in the building is right there. We're gonna go check it out. Hi, my name is Tim Daly. I'm the Director of Engineering for Empire State Building. I've been on the job here for nine years. All right, so how does water get to the top of the skyscraper in New York City? We have a holding tank in the lower level of the building that feeds a series of pumps. Uh, because the building is so high, we have three zones of pumps, low, mid, and high zones. The top tank is on 101 of the building, and the water is just basically gravity-fed down through the six tanks in the building. You get a skyscraper in New York City, that building probably has to pump it up, so above about six stories, you need some artificial pressure within the building. How does water get to the top of the Empire State Building, you know? Pipes? Pipes. Yeah, that's more or less it. Yeah. Well, there's water tower, like that thing right there, that water tower. Okay. There's one inside the Empire State Building. Oh. You just don't see it. When you turn on the sink, the water's not coming from below, it's coming from above. Right. Really. I would love to go inside and see the pumps and some of the tanks that we were talking okay. about. Okay. Can you see that? Sure. Let's check it out. The Singer Building was the tallest building in the world from 1908 to 1909. It was replaced in the late 60s by uh, One Liberty Plaza. Tall black building right there, uh, just to make way for more office space. From 1909 to 1913, the Metropolitan Life Tower was the tallest building in the world. That's it right there. What do you think? It's kind of small, like for the tallest building in the world. Once upon a time, it was. There's my work wife, Keith. Oh, good good things. Oh, you're cute. Doing all right, you? I'm good, thank you. All right, we'll see you later. Have a good one, I'll see you later. Yep. She so won, like, best tour guide of the year last year. Yes, yep. I mean, it's, you can ask her anything. It's yeah, surrounding she's... building. It was built in 1947. The architect is in here. His name was that. Yeah. These are the tenants. Like, whoa, how do you know this? We have a lot of people like that here. Just take great pride right, in yeah. coming into this place. So this is where it all starts, right? That, at the very end, is a suction tank, which will take water from the street, so the water can be pulled by these pumps. You'll see on the signs the various areas that are served by each pump. Just be careful because the pumps do come online quite often. It might startle you a bit. Pump feeds the tank. There goes one now. Uh, Jim Rose is our chief engineer. Mike. <laughs> I don't want the camera either. <laughs> oh, wow. So these are the original drawings. He's the keeper of the uh, sacred scrolls, so to speak. <laughs> a lot of piping. Miles and miles and miles of piping. I don't know if you could see the date on that drawing, can you, Jimmy? Yeah, it's 1930. 1930. Sacred scrolls. It's incredible stuff, right? All right, good stuff, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Hold them in. Huh? The film crew here. Yeah. So this is the watch engineer station. These guys man this building 24-7, 365. Uh, these guys control the whole building. The Woolworth building right behind me was the tallest building in the world from 1913 to 1930. Majestic. It's amazing when you look at this old photo and see how much has changed around it. There are a lot of other tall buildings in the area. Um, but at the time that it was built, it was really like on its own up there. So in this room is another steel tank. Aha, it just shut off. This was just being uh, filled. And what you heard was the valve closing. We can go down to 84th floor and show you the pumps that pull water from this tank and push it up to 101. We're on the 84th floor mechanical space now. These will pump water up to the tank on 101. See some of the original controls are here on the wall. Those went in around 1950. 40 Wall Street was the tallest building in the world for less than one year in 1930. It's changed a lot down here. 
in the time since, but there's still a lot of history. Right next to it is Federal Hall. This is where George Washington was inaugurated as President of the United States. That's why there's a statue of him outside. Taking over from 40 Wall Street was the Chrysler Building, which was the tallest building in the world from 1930 until 1931, until it was overtaken by the Empire State Building. Huge number of skyscrapers here. On the other side is uh, the UN Building. I just want to show them the access to the tank. Yeah. This is, uh, people walk by this all day long yeah. and, and they don't realize underneath this is a 10,000 gallon tank. That's how we access it to clean it. Right now we're in like, when you look at the building to the side, the needle part. Yeah, yeah, this is 102. So it's a little tight down here, but. Yeah. You see in the real back of the house here. Going where very few men go. Oh. So this is the original steel tank from 1929. This is our highest tank in the building. We're on the 101st floor. Just gravity fed out through the building from this point. Before we go down, you should watch. Yeah, you can't, you can't trip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't kill me yet. This would be a bad place to go down. <laughs> Thank you. I have trouble getting you out of here. This is the highest gravity yep. in the building. What floor are we on? 86. All right, let's see if the water works. <laughs> All right. Pressure's pretty good. <laughs> Pressure's pretty good. We hope you enjoyed the view. The Empire State Building was the tallest building in the world for 40 years, from 1931 until 1971. You can't really see it anymore because it's blocked, but we can see it from a little closer. The Empire State Building was replaced as the tallest building in New York in 1971 by the World Trade Center, which used to be right through there. 1973 was the last time New York City had the tallest building in the world. It was replaced by the Sears Tower in Chicago and then many other towers since then. Do you think New York City will ever have the tallest building in the world again?